Whew. Hello folks, 104 checking in, this time from the south coast of England in the county of Dorset. So, uh, very foggy, very misty, very damp day. And uh, we just walked up from the little campsite we're staying in. And uh, we're just about to uh, we come up to the first hill. Go down to a place, um, got a famous place called the Durdle Door. And then uh, head up to a, a hill that's currently up in the clouds over there. I will set up for the net somewhere en route, don't know where, but uh, when I get a, a move on, it'll be nowhere. Okay, let's crack on. Okay folks, I'm on the top of this uh, hillock, it's a trig point just down there, campsite's down there, and we've come from uh, somewhere that's now invisible over there, it's in the cloud. So um, yeah, even on the south coast, I'm probably only about 140, 150 metres up here, but the sea is just there. So um, as you can see, weather again is very changeable. So um, I've set the setup up. But up through country, there's been a hell of a lot of snow. Some areas are recorded minus 15 degrees C. So I don't think the guys up on high ground are out for the net. But I've set up, I'll just show you a slight cut of changes I've made to the setup. I'll have a flip round. If there's nothing doing, we'll shoot back to the uh, campsite for uh, a Guinness and some grub. Okay. If you watched my video uh, last week when I got hit by, week before last when I got hit by some bad weather up on the Black Mountains, my speaker and this little cheap radio is really, really tinny. So uh, this time I brought a little external speaker. Now this is a speaker out of a Nokia car phone kit. I think it's called the Kark 91 car phone kit. Cracking little speaker, perfectly tuned for voice. Absolute chalk and cheese compared with the internal miniature. So yeah, that's a cracking little uh, addition. I would suggest start basic and just to build your kit up bit by bit rather than just try and do a load of stuff right from the start because every single item obviously is more weight. Okay, I'm gonna have a couple more shout outs. I'll flick around and uh, say nothing's doing. We'll uh, hit the track back home. Okay, is anybody around on channel 27 for the Homesteaders Net 104 South Coast train? Anybody around on 27 for the Homesteaders Net? 104 on the south coast, we're listening. No, I think the weather's done them actually. No worries, and they're really nice to touch base with you. Oh, but skip. I'm going to pop you on the cluster. I will pop you on the cluster, so I've got you in my log. CTX 104 South Coast England. A lot of noise, a lot of sideband. There's some skip running. One zero four South Coast England. I'll move if that sideband goes. I might get in. I don't know where he is.
Oh, listen to that noise. One nine a Roger. Okay, folks, we're going to knock it on the head. Looks like the homesteader's net wasn't on today or they've packed in early because uh, up country there's been uh, some pretty bad weather. It's not that great here, but temperature is, is not bad. It's just we're up in the clouds and it's, uh, it's just a bit uh, grim. But uh, further up country, it's been down as low as minus 15C. Most of the guys uh, on the homesteaders are on high ground, South Wales, Pontox, etc. So I wouldn't be surprised if the roads were actually impassable to uh, to get up there. Anyway, um, always a good test of the kit to take it out in bad weather. I ought to set up a shelter really, but um, time didn't allow that to happen. I have got a tarp in there and a fair bit of other emergency stuff should I need ever to spend an unexpected night on the hills. Anyway, antenna wise, this pole here, and I've had this one since about 2012. I've not treated it particularly well, and it's absolutely fine. It's just a six meter long roach pole or flag pole straight off of uh, eBay. Um, try and pick one without any carbon content. This is fiberglass only. Carbon, some people say it can affect the tuning of the antenna. Some people say it's okay, but I just got one because fiberglass is cheaper anyway. Uh, it's actually one made by Linaf, okay? Linaf. Now attached to that, I've just got the little plastic three strings, little plastic disc and the three tent strings holding it up. And attached to that is my usual antenna of choice, which is the coax dipole T2LT, call it what you will. Now this is the actual one I made in a remake video for the two piece type antenna. So I've added a piece on top rather than just make it at one piece of coax. So I'll leave some links in the description of a couple of videos I did on how to construct these antennas, okay? So that's that. Um, you've probably seen the radio before. I deliberately take up cheap stuff because uh, I don't look after it very well, to be honest, and there's always a good chance it's gonna get buggered up. Now this radio here, it's called a Delta Slim. It's about 40 quid, nothing special about it. Um, does actually transmit very good um, audio. Uh, you may have noticed on my last uh, video when I went up the Black Mountains, the speaker is very tinny on high volume levels, and it is because it is. I took it apart to make sure it wasn't loose. It's minute, okay? so. Uh, that's that, and I don't really like the microphone, to be honest, just a little bit. And sometimes if you catch it wrong, uh, it doesn't go into TX. So I don't particularly, not a massive fan of the radio, but it does the job. Anyway, that um, Nokia car phone speaker, absolutely great. So that's going to be a full-time addition to the kit. And uh, the first thing I would suggest to anyone doing this sort of SOTA, stuff like me, perhaps on the CB, any sort of portable stuff, where you need to carry weight on your back. Go with um, lithium-based technology for your, your battery source. Now this one is the same size as a seven amp hour sealed lead acid battery. And this is a six amp hour, 12.8 volt. Now this one is 800 grams and the sealed lead acid battery is two and a half kilos, okay? And the other advantage is with these is what they call the discharge curve. These batteries hold their voltage for a long time before it finally drops off a cliff. Whereas the sealed lead acid batteries, they go into like a gradual decline. And then if you imagine that's a bit of a graph going down there, by the time you get down to about sort of just under about 11 volts or whatever, most modern radios will start complaining or won't key up. Older radios, I've actually been down to seven volts on an old FM radio. But uh, modern radios, especially sideband, etc., they don't like um, any voltage. It's really under 12 volts. So something like this, not only is it low, low weight, it's also very good for uh, keeping its voltage for a long time when you're out on the hills. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Nothing else to report. I'll have one last flick round. Uh, very noisy band today. Bit of skip out there. Couldn't get back to anybody. And as I said, the net wasn't running today. Anyway, we'll catch you on the next one. Cheers, everyone.